man makes plans and God laughs. As it turned out, the small town where we would ambush the train had a significant enemy presence. Those troops would have to be dealt with before the explosives could be set.
once Zara secured the town, the trap could be set for the arriving train.
obtaining the code book was not enough. To destroy this iron dragon, this Canavar, as the Ottomans had named it, we had to send it three encrypted messages telling it to stand down. There were Ottoman outposts scattered along the railroad tracks. The commanders there carried high priority message capsules. We had to use those to send our orders. Infiltrating the village wouldn't be easy. A full detachment of Ottoman soldiers had occupied it. The Ottomans had chosen an isolated location for their desert outpost. It seemed lightly defended. It was also well stocked with arms and equipment. The ancient ruins were all that remained of a civilization now lost to time. The Ottoman Empire brought in the modern world with a host of armored vehicles and field guns. Three commanders to eliminate, three personal message capsules to be stolen, and then sent with our force orders. How Zara tackled this dangerous and audacious mission
single order wouldn't be enough. Ottoman protocol required the message to be received in triplicate before the train would acknowledge it as genuine.
message had already been sent, my dear. No, not the message you would have wanted. The Lawrence was such a good host. It almost seemed rude to escape. I made sure to note the location of Lawrence's camp, of course. Which means... The train knows too. Twice. You told that train everything was clear. But... I told it exactly where to attack. The beast has your scent, my dear. And it's coming to slaughter you and your little band of rebels. First, the firestorm from the cannon. Then, up close with the troops to slaughter any survivors. I guess I won't know either way until I set it off. Yes, no! 